Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are ready to talk about surface area of spheres and cylinders for my friends at Learning Bird. Let's go ahead and take a look first at surface area. Um, the surface area is the area on the outside of a solid. So, for example, how much paint would it take to cover that solid? So it's just the, the covering around the outside of it. That is the surface area. A good way to think about it is paint. Now, a way to calculate the surface area is to draw what we call a net. A net is just a flat picture of how the shape would be made up. So here's an example of a net of a cylinder. So a cylinder has a circle on both sides, and then it has that um, the what we call the lateral surface area or that rectangle that kind of wraps itself around the outside of those two figures. And that is the net of a cylinder. So to find the surface area of a cylinder, all you need to find is the area of the two circles using our area of the circle equation and then the area of a rectangle. Now it's a little bit more complicated than that because the area of the rectangle, we have to figure out what the length and width are. And the length is the circumference of that circle, and the width is the height of the cylinder. So that's sometimes complicated because we also have the circumference equation in there. And that's why, because the length of the rectangle is actually um, the circumference of the circle. So that's the most complicated. Finding the surface area of a cylinder is pretty complicated because it has all of those parts. It has the area of the circle equation, it has the circumference equation, and the area of a rectangle equation. So here it is. The surface area of cylinders. You have to do length times width, which again the rectangle, the length is 2 pi r, or the circumference of the circle, that's the length, times the height of the cylinder and that'll be length times width, basically, rectangle. And then for the circles, it's two circles, so it's two times pi r squared. So after two and a half minutes of explaining what the equation is, let's go ahead and actually solve one using this equation. So find the surface area of this cylinder. Here we are. The surface area is 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. Fortunately, we only have to worry about two variables, pi r and h. We have pi as well, but we'll worry about that later. So we're going to substitute these values in there. Everywhere you see an r, we're going to substitute a 5 for the radius. And whenever you see h, that one time we see h, we've substituted in an 8 for the height of there. Okay, h is height, height of the cylinder is 8. So now we're just going to multiply out 2 times 5 times 8 is 80, and 2 times 5 squared, 5 squared is 25, 2 times 25 will give us 50 pi. We add those together and we get 130 pi, or approximately 130 times 3.14. So the surface area is approximately 408.2 square centimeters. That's the surface area of a cylinder. Again, that huge long explanation just to do, have a one minute question. But this is the equation and all the steps that you'll need to follow to be able to solve the surface area of a cylinder. Basically, that's, that's the type of questions you'll get with that. The only um, thing that they might change up is they might give you the, the diameter instead of the radius. And if that's the case, diameter is twice as much as the radius. So now let's talk about spheres. Spheres are a ball. And the net, remember how we drew that net of the cylinder to try and help us out? The net of a sphere is um, kind of like peeling an orange. It can be in all sorts of different shapes, but none of them are really helpful to illustrate why we use the equation the way we do. So for some reasons that's um, a little bit more complicated. For other reasons that makes our life easier because we're just going to go ahead and use the equation and plug in the numbers that we get. So here it is. The surface area of a sphere is this. The surface area is 4 times pi r squared. Why is that? I don't know. So let's just go ahead and, and solve it. Find the surface area of a sphere with the radius of 7. Notice there's only one variable in this, radius. 
4 pi r squared. So all we need to do is substitute that 7 in there. 7 times, or 7 squared is 49. 4 times 49 is 196 pi square centimeters. That's the exact surface area of that um, sphere. That's how you do it. If you want the approximate surface area, you can change pi into 3.14 like we did in our previous question. You'll get the approximate surface area. So there, there it is. Here's a quick recap. The area of a cylinder is 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. And the area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared. Hope that lesson was helpful for you, Learning Birds, and you have a wonderful day.